All right, guys, before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Shoot me a thumbs up on this. It helps more than you guys know. And uh, I just hit 10,000 subscribers on my main channel. So let's just keep this going. Uh, try to help me out in the YouTube algorithm. And uh, let's get into the video. I mean, come on now. Just look at it. morning get the old mega cab hooked up to the flatbed and we'll start uh, well we're gonna consider a little bit of an adventure today oh since everybody asked where that is there it is it's awful awful echoey out here all right We've got some stuff to gather up for today's job, but this old girl hasn't run in a while. I'm going to start her up. Batteries charge up. And, uh, ow, shoot. And go from there. All right. Let's see how she starts. It's been a while. Dead. Nope. Nice. All right, so I'm gearing up for a difficult move, I think. Let's see if I can set you guys up. I gotta pull some 37 foot I beams out of the woods and get them onto the trailer. Now, um, when they say 37 foot I beams, are they like 1,100 pounds a piece or something? So obviously my winch can handle it, but uh, just getting it up on the trailer, not having a hydraulic dovetail or a full tilt trailer might be a pain. Uh, customer's gonna meet me there and uh, help me, so that may help. And it's on a farmer's property, so I'm hoping maybe if worse comes to worse, he can bring like a, a tractor out there with a bucket or something and at least lift the front of them up and then winch them on the trailer. We'll see. I uh, don't really do jobs like this or want to do jobs like this. This guy actually got my last name from um, somebody I've known for my entire life. He ended up looking up my last name, calling my father because my dad's name, I guess, came up as a Smithsburg number and it called my dad's cell phone. My dad gave him my number, said I was the one that does the transport. And uh, here we are. I like 37 foot I beams, 1,000, 1,100 pounds a piece, and then I think there's some steel bar or something I actually pick up from a, like a, a fabricator, so they'll just set that on with the forklift. So I'm just kind of, uh, uh, what time is it? I've got about an hour and a half till I meet the guy, so I got about an hour here. I'm gonna get everything pulled out, winch everything, uh, make sure everything has power and everything works before we get on the road. So today may be interesting, but. Um, trying to go into this with a good mindset and uh not get frustrated right away and if i have to uh end up walking away from the job i will but it's coming with me that's the mindset i have for today now honestly this is probably the best day for this it's uh 56 right now and it's uh, just before 10 o'clock Tomorrow the real field is supposed to be like 21 degrees. I'm supposed to get a pile of rain over the next 24 hours. So today is uh, it's probably our best bet to get these out. Uh, we're about 15 minutes away, and uh, let's see what we get ourselves into. Nope. 
Hard part's done on that one. Let's just drag it the rest of the way forward using his van here for constant power. <sighs> Alrighty. What's that? Trying to drag this one out so I can get to it. It's got about a six, seven inch tree growing around it. Six, seven inch diameter tree. I'm trying to pull it out so I can at least get a good grab on it. But back there hooking it, the chain up, or supposed to be. Nope. There's where they came out of. There's where they are now. All right, well, second stop of the day. Good thing we got those out of there. That weather does not look promising today. And my customer is going about 100 miles an hour down this dirt lane. I'm actually following him. It's our second stop. We're supposed to pick up some six inch pipe here and then roll back to his place and uh, get everything unloaded. And I'll go over what, uh, the way I priced this and why and, and how I kind of came to pricing a job where it's not straightforward. It's kind of a lot of unknown of how long it really is gonna take. And now we thread the needle. I'm gonna back the trailer in there. At least we got some room up here, except for that little tiny tree, but we made our second stop and got six, uh, six pipe back there. I don't know if you can see them. They're on the other side of those beams. Maybe I'll give the specs of everything, but I'm just waiting for him to get his tractor back there because we're just going to pull these things off because I think they're restoring this barn and that's what these beams and these, uh, the pipe we picked up for, uh, is for. taking chains off straps off should be good to go well that was interesting so before we get into what I like how I priced that job and everything so I don't know if any of you from around like the Maryland Pennsylvania area but there was a Baltimore cop that had kidnapped kidnapped his kids or somewhere around there well sitting there loading that that last bit those six pieces of pipe and uh, there's like 20 cops that flew by that that farm i was at and uh, sure enough they found them in in town where i grew up um there's multiple casualties it doesn't sound good but um kept getting passed by cops and there was like they said there was like 30 40 cops on scene and then three four helicopters so i'm glad they found them but it's it's sad because it looks like one of the children was involved uh, but anyways, we'll talk about pricing um, here uh, apparently after this uh, after this green light. All right, so the way I priced that job was a started with an hourly rate because in in total I probably had forty or fifty miles in it, so uh, a mileage based. The hard part was getting those getting those beams out of the wood woods and getting them on the trailer what those beams are being used for is to there's a an old barn the floor is sagging so they're going to jack the barn up and those beams are going to go in i don't know how they found the beams why they were in the woods i don't know not my problem so what i did was i figured it would be uh, a four hour minimum is what i expected to be there and on something like that it was hundred dollars an hour so four hundred dollar minimum and that's that, that's all the longer it took us to get it done which i feel like um things went with him being there and things going the way they did things went a lot smoother than i thought um didn't really take that long it i the only thing i like was just hustling around the trailer and all that blah 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 uh so we got got him on the trailer and then he had a tractor to unload him so it wasn't a big deal so jobs like that i want to price by the hour and why why i was okay with a 400 dollar minimum is because with a winch job or something like that you're going to expect to break something 
So $400 minimum, if I break that winch, um, I'm not losing. In one mile, turn left on Deer Park Road. to price a job if sorry phone mounts a little a, a little shaky um, fully expect on a job like that that something could break fully expect something to break and if whatever that you're gosh this is shaky give me a minute all right give me a minute fully expect um, whatever breaks that that's included in your price to be able to replace it and um and cover you know all in half a mile turn left cover all your losses and uh so you don't end up losing money in the long run all right well sorry for that shaking video i was just trying to get down the road and uh, that this phone mounts a solid phone mount so it doesn't give any but uh that's it i'm happy with the way today turned out and uh i'm tired for it tired from it uh but for what we had to do got the job done and like i said um not a job i'd usually take but with the way um kind of keeping things in my hometown i'm okay with doing it